Unit 12. Listening Text. Good afternoon and welcome to The World Tomorrow, the program which looks into the future and predicts what life will be like in 20, 30, or 40 years' time. Today's guest is a university professor of medicine who is currently doing research into new ways of treating common diseases. Welcome to the program, Professor Othman. Could you start by telling us what kinds of diseases you are working on at the moment? Thank you, of course. At the moment my research team and I are looking at three of the world's commonest diseases, diabetes, heart disease and arthritis. I'm pleased to say that we're making progress in all three areas. We think that fewer people will be living with these diseases in the future. That's excellent news. So are you working on new treatments for these diseases? Yes, we are. But the most exciting news is that sometime in the not-too-distant future we'll be treating these diseases to cure them and not only to manage them. How is curing a disease different from managing it? Well, let's take the example of diabetes. At the moment we cannot cure diabetes. If someone has the disease, they'll always have it. We can only help people to manage it so that it doesn't become worse. In 2030, people may be taking medicines which cure diabetes completely so that the person no longer has the disease. That really is very exciting. Could you explain how this is possible? Well, traditionally doctors have always treated diseases by giving their patients medicines of some kind or by operating on them. In the future we'll be using new cells from patients to repair parts of their body which are damaged. So if a patient's heart is damaged, we'll be able to mend it with new cells from the patient's own body. We'll also be making new tissue from the cells in the laboratory. This is fantastic. When are we likely to see these developments? I think that I'll be working on the project for the next 15 to 20 years. Thank you for being our guest this afternoon, Professor Othman, and for bringing such good news. It's my pleasure.